The new Royal Navy Dreadnought class submarine, which is currently under construction, has innovative features that promise to take stealth to a whole new level. The Dreadnought is a massive undertaking for UK industry, and there is no doubt that it will be a huge win for the UK over the next few decades. The Dreadnought submarine will be the most stealthy and largest ever built for Royal Navy. HMS Dreadnought and HMS Valiant, the first two ships, are already under construction. The Dreadnought is destined to take over Britain's nuclear deterrent in the 2030s. These new classes will be larger in order to include a number of new stealth features. Like its battleship namesake, the new submarines will feature cutting-edge naval propulsion design, incredible firepower, and several features that will set it apart even from other modern submarines. They will be armed with Trident D-5 missiles, which is enough firepower to potentially destroy any major city and most of the surrounding area in a 7-mile radius. This is a fearsome amount of firepower per submarine, especially when you then multiply that by up to four Dreadnought-class subs, which could be on patrol at any time. In other words, one Dreadnought submarine could potentially destroy most of continental China, a lethal weapon of mass destruction. These large submarines will have four 533mm torpedo tubes for Spearfish medium-range heavyweight torpedoes. The Spearfish can hit targets up to 65 kilometers away. These torpedoes were specifically designed to intercept high-speed deep-diving enemy submarines with titanium hulls, such as the Alpha and Sierra classes. The Dreadnought class is being constructed at a special time in history. For the first time, three major allied countries are designing and building their next generation of nuclear ballistic missile submarines at the same time. The United States has the Columbia class, the United Kingdom has the Dreadnought class, and France has the SNLE-3G. This fortuitous event is allowing the United States, the United Kingdom, and France to actively share mutually beneficial components, thereby improving future naval relations and efficiencies. The Dreadnought is mid-sized of the three submarines, measuring 153.6 meters long and 12.8 meters wide, with 12 Trident missiles, and a crew of 130. Compare that to the larger Columbia-class sub, which is 171 meters long, 13 meters wide, and equipped with 16 Trident missiles, and a crew of 155. The French SNLE-3G is the smallest of the three, measuring 148 meters long and 12.5 meters wide, and carrying 16 Trident missiles, and a crew of 100 people. The Dreadnought was primarily designed by BAE Systems, in collaboration with Rolls-Royce and the SDA, as part of the Dreadnought Alliance. The submarine is being built at the BAE Barrow and Furnace Shipyard in northwest England, with nuclear propulsion systems being built by Rolls-Royce Submarine Division in Derby. The Dreadnought class will use an X-form rudder system for greater control, a quieter turboelectric drive, and a pump jet propulsor for improved power with a lower acoustic signature, similar to the US Columbia class and the French SNLE-3G. The new PWR3 pressurized water reactor, based on a US design but using UK reactor technology, powers the Dreadnought. Its simpler design necessitates fewer coolant pumps, making it much quieter. Dreadnought, unlike the other two submarines, has a relatively elongated and streamlined sail in the front third of the sub, as well as bow planes, rather than sail planes. These bow planes will most likely be retractable for high-speed maneuvering or when surfaced. The Dreadnought is used whale-inspired design to achieve better performance. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Dreadnought-class submarines will be their distinct take on the double-hull design. 
Modern submarines in the United States, including the new Columbia class, have a single hull design and a distinctive cylindrical shape with a rounded front. Other submarines, such as those built by Russia and China, have two hulls. However, unlike the Russian double hull design, the outer hull of the dreadnought is much lighter and not designed for strength. In addition, unlike other double-hulled submarines, the reinforcing frames will be located on the inside of the inner hull, as they are in the single-hulled Columbia. The Dreadnought-class submarine appears to primarily use its double hull for a new reason, namely stealth. The UK Ministry of Defence stated that the next three boats would also be given names with historical significance. The names of the ships will be HMS Dreadnought, HMS Valiant, HMS Warspite, and HMS King George IV. As of 2018, the Ministry of Defense anticipates that the first submarine will enter service in the early 2030s, with the Columbia class scheduled to enter service in 2031, and the French SNLE 3G around 2035. Dreadnought, like the most stealthy existing submarines, will include mechanisms to protect against electromagnetic detection and tracking. To improve visual stealth when near the surface, the outer surface will be a different color than in previous versions. For many years, and in some other leading navies still today, the main focus for making submarines stealthy was to make the propulsion quieter. In this regard, Royal Navy ships are already considered very quiet. The Dreadnought, on the other hand, will feature a new turboelectric drive. The main defense of a submarine is its stealth. Speed, depth, and countermeasures can all help a submarine escape, but the best way to survive is to not be seen in the first place. As a result, it is unsurprising that submarines being built today will be more stealthy than those already in service.